In December 2018, I went to go see Roma at the IFC Center. I remember being very late because, if I recall correctly, I had just left work and I had maybe 20 minutes to get there, so I like ran to the train and got there and got my ticket and the theater was packed because it was probably opening weekend. So I found a seat off to the side and just sat down and the movie started and it was just a beautiful movie. The cinematography is beautiful. The sound design was better than most blockbusters and I was really happy I was able to see it in theaters because even though I knew I could just watch it on Netflix a couple weeks later, but if I saw it just on my TV, I wouldn't have been able to hear how incredible the sound was, and I wouldn't have been able to truly see how beautiful the images are and the camera work was, and the crazy details they put in the background. The film itself had such a dreamy quality to it. Everything felt larger than it should have been. The streets felt bigger, the hospitals bigger, the buildings, the people, the cars, and everything just felt a little bit larger in a way that it felt like a dream almost, or I guess as the director put it, you know, recalling memories. About halfway through, there's a scene in the movie where the main character, Cleo, uh, loses her baby um, after delivering it, and it's all done in this one long take from her getting into the delivery room to the doctors telling her that her child has not survived. And I really don't know what happened to me during that scene because all of a sudden I just started openly weeping um, in the theater. It was so personal. It was so devastating and so intimate it felt like I shouldn't have been watching it almost and I would even attribute that to just how much I was absorbed into the film at that point how much I had kind of accepted the movie as reality where I didn't want to see this character going through something this terrible and I remember this thought just popped in to my head for just half a second and where I just thought you should get up you should walk out of this movie theater because this is this is too much this is too upsetting this is too traumatizing um you shouldn't be watching this and obviously I stayed but I just remember having that thought um just kind of shoot into my head and nothing like that had ever happened to me in a theater before. Um, I had never seen anything like that in a movie up until that point. I also remember as I was openly crying that um, the person next to me must have thought that I was a complete weirdo. Um, and I remember feeling kind of embarrassed that I was that emotional in a movie theater. Uh, full of strangers, and even though you could clearly hear half of the room having the exact same reaction I was, um, it, you could hear so many people like sniffling and breathing heavy, and everyone's just wiping away tears, and in all, it, sh it should have felt like a very communal moment, like a, a lot of solidarity or something, but for some reason, I think just my own thought that, you know, this is too much, this is too... There's, no one should be seeing something like this. This, is, this should be only for her, for the main character in the movie. I remember leaving the theater afterwards and... Um, just kind of in this daze, walking around Greenwich Village, trying to reground myself. Um, so I was just so captivated by the movie and trying to get like my thoughts together about what I just saw. And 
Yeah, it was just an absolutely incredible thing to see in a theater.